Por qué? The Spanish word for why. Good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. Today, I want to explain to you a question that I get all the time, probably the second most asked question that I've ever gotten here in Chile. Right behind why Chile is why Linares. So today we're going to uh, maybe build a house and also explore that question. So let's go for a little adventure. Chala, 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 chala. I'm going to do a charla today. And, um, well, I got a little distracted. Mm. Mm. Man, those kids are incredible at their English. It was so cool for me to go in there and do a charla. Fun fact that I'd been telling people for about a month now that I was doing a chala. Pretty tough to, uh, to do a chala, but I can do a charla, apparently. And uh, anyways, the kids were awesome, and that's my first point of why I love Linares. There are a lot of extranjeros, a lot of foreigners, that go to Santiago or Concepcion or bigger cities that aren't the common small town feel type cities here in Chile to teach English. And I'm so blessed that I landed here in Linares because I get to teach these kids who maybe have never seen a foreigner from the United States before. And I get to be just a representative representing the United States. That's not just the popular news. It's somebody who's actually from there. And it's so much fun for me to meet the kids here, talk to them and share my story with them. That's my number one reason why I absolutely love it in Linares. Sometimes you go on the back of a truck and you go through uh, waterfalls. It's absolutely beautiful to live in Linares because you get to go and see places like this in the back of a pickup truck from 1986. And sometimes adventures here in Linares take you on this cart to cross a river with my friend Moxie. Oh my goodness. Let's, uh, I've got to introduce this guy to you. This is incredible. Hola. Bueno, estamos aquí en el medio del estero Las Animas, en, en un carro que se usa en el caso de, de que el río crezca, crezca mucho. Entonces la, el, el vaho no da pasada ni de a caballo siquiera a veces. Entonces se cruza de, por el carro. Eh, bueno, yo les cuento que tengo un emprendimiento nuevo. Eh, hago viajes a la cordillera guiados 
tanto como trekking como eh, de a caballo entonces los invito a que conozcan este cajón maravilloso con sus ríos de aguas cristalinas sus lagunas eh, que están a mucha altura y que son realmente espectaculares así que alguna vez pueden contactarse con John por último y eh, para que yo les pueda hacer un viaje que va a ser inolvidable gracias you guys have got to come here check out his his channel his link is right below it's to a Facebook page and maybe there's some other things but you've got to check out what he does it's absolutely incredible and it's uh, I mean I'm floating literally over over water right now I'm trusting him with my life look so reason number two why I absolutely love Linares is because of views like this I absolutely love the mountains and I'll never take it for granted being from a place that's more of a city and really really flat with snow this time of year in the winter time it's so nice to be warm in the winter months in the north and to see views like this only an hour and a half away from my house in Linares this is still a part of Linares but you only drive an hour and a half and then go for a hike in the middle of nowhere to get here. It's so beautiful. But besides being able to teach here in Linares and besides the mountains that are so close to here, there's also the ocean that's only an hour and a half drive away. And there's also our church. We came here because we wanted to teach English and because there's a Lutheran church here in Linares. So we're helping this Lutheran church out and we love the people here. We love the people in our church and uh, it's a part of, of who we are. And we really hope that Moses loves Linares just as much as we do. It's so calm, so peaceful, even on a Sunday afternoon. It's a little rainy out today, but it's completely calm. You can hear all of the birds and it's just uh, it's a perfect place to sleep in. And I know a lot of you think that living in Linares is a little bit dull because I put an Instagram question out there and asked, what would you prefer, Santiago or Linares or the countryside? And a lot of people said Santiago because there's so much to do. But for me, that's why I love the countryside and I love Linares because it's so calm. You can go to the mountains, there's still stuff to do. It's not a big city, but there's still stuff to do. And I love how close it is to all of these outdoor activities. The ocean, the mountains, the people, and I get to teach the kids. I mean, typically the kids aren't going to see too many gringos around, but I get to be here and I get to do that. And it's an absolute privilege for me to be here in Linares. And I never take it for granted. Elise and I love it here, and also we have our deep purpose of being here with our Lutheran Church here in Linares. It's an absolute privilege to be here, and yeah, we just, uh, we hope that Moses likes it as much as we do. So I hope that you enjoyed the explanation. It's, uh, I feel like Linares is just a part of me now, and it's hard to explain everything, but I think those are the most basic things and reasons why I love Linares, why Elise loves Linares, and why we hope that Moses loves it as well. But check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All the links are right below. Almost at 10,000 followers on Instagram. Really, really awesome. Thank you guys for following me on there. And, uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure that you do. We'll see you guys next time. But for now, ciao, Pascal.